Good day, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing perfectly well and okay. So, they'll be uh, making two something clear. One is on how you can refund games starting after 12 hours of play and uh, uh, 14 days of uh, purchase. You know, that's the normal uh, Steam policy. You can only refund games uh, below 2 hours and uh, below 14 uh, days of uh, purchase. So, in this video, I will show you exactly how you can refund games after 2 hours of play and uh, after 14 days of purchase. So the second one, make it something very clear because I've actually made a similar video like this before on my channel. Yeah, I'll show you exactly how you can refund games. So some people misunderstood me, or should I say, um, I don't know how to put it, because I actually got some credits from for, from that video, and I actually got some discredits from that uh, uh, particular video. So the thing is that uh, some people actually misunderstood me. They tried to refund games that they have played more than fifty hours and uh, um, eighteen hours of a. Uh, or oh, sorry, 18 months of purchase or uh, 17 months, 16 months of purchase. So technically, that's like trying to refund a used condom. So man, that's not what I what I meant. After two hours of play on the after 14 days of a uh, of purchase, maybe you have like a uh, 10 hours of a uh, of a uh, of play or uh, 20 days of a uh, of a uh, of purchase. I'm not saying you should refund games that you you've played from the beginning to the end your game that you may have been, been on your system for the past uh, uh, 16 months for the past uh, uh, 10 months technically they can't refund that game to you you have already played the game from the beginning to the end it so i'm uh, actually referring to those that have not played the game for a very long time and uh, they just download the game let's say uh uh my 20 days of uh, of purchase or uh my, i don't know not months of or a year of a uh, of purchase so uh, this is exactly how you can refund the game because uh, my last video i just explained on how you can refund the game without actually um, uh, um, uh, uh, walking you guys through so they'll be uh making a a uh, and giving you guys an example or a walkthrough on how you uh, can refund games after two hours of play and the 14 uh, um uh days of a uh, purchase so hopefully you guys will understand me now. I'm not saying you can refund games after 50 hours of play or uh, games after um, uh, 11 months or after 10 months of uh, of purchase. So technically, this is how you can refund uh, the games. So the first thing you want to do, you go straight to your, your Steam account. I believe you, you own a Steam account. So uh, at uh, the left hand side, you see uh, help. You click on help. So you see uh, Steam support. So on that Steam support, you are likely to see your game here. But if you can't find your game, just go to Game uh, and uh, and Software etc. Click on this. So I believe you can find uh, all your games or recent games on this particular column. So uh, let me make an example. So I have uh, finished this game. That's uh, the Metif Collections. So I have finished the game. I've played it for a very, very long time. So definitely they won't refund uh, me this game or refund me my money because I have actually played the game. So let me let me select that. So what's going to happen now? You see my, uh, I've played this game for 44 hours and I bought this game on the uh, 8th of October, the year 2022. So definitely I can't get refund from this particular game because I have played the game for a very, very long time. And uh, me. They are demanded time is a uh, two hours of play, and I've played forty four hours. That demanded demanded time is uh, my, my uh, fourteen days of uh, of uh, uh, po after purchase, and I've played this game since the month of October, the year twenty twenty two. So definitely, I can't refund this game. So that's what I'm trying to explain. You can't refund a game that you have played for a very long time. So if you've played the game for a very short time and you just bought the game, I mean not up to a month. So this is exactly how you can refund the game. So the first thing you want to do, so if your game is below uh, 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 two hours of play and uh, below fourteen uh, uh, days of purchase, you can just come to this place and say you, the game is not up to your expectation. Just click on this. It's not what I expected, and they, they will definitely refund you the game because you are you are still under the um, uh, Steam policy. So no um, no difficulties. They just give you your game. Just put it's not what I expected, so it's okay. But if you go above the uh, the hours or the days of uh, of uh, their policy so you definitely can't tell them it's not uh, what you expected because you have already gone above uh, uh, their policy so the thing you, the uh, what you are likely to do is to go to a um, uh, game plane or technical issues so you just click on on this 
So under this, you will see the game won't uh, download or install. So I don't think you should play, you should um, select this because definitely Steam, they know that you've already downloaded the game and uh, I mean, the game is installed on PC. So that's how they are able to detect how many hours you've played the game. So it's very wrong for you to put this technical issue. So if you put the game doesn't start up when I try to launch it, they know, they know everything. I don't know if it's not me. So that's how they, you can see I, I have 14 hours of play. So that's how they know because I have played the game. So Steam, they know everything. So the game crashes while, I, while, I, while I'm playing it. This, they don't know. But they know you've opened the game, but they know if it, if it crashes when playing it. So you are likely to choose this particular one. And the, the game runs poorly on my, on my system. So the games, the games run poorly. They are likely to uh, give you a refund because they I mean, it's your PC. They don't know. That it's like like you tell them yes the game can play but uh, I mean it's not running well on my PC so they don't own your PC you had enough your PC and they can't see your PC so so it's either you choose the game crashes when I'm playing it or the game run, runs uh, poorly on my on my system so you choosing the uh, uh, the game does not start when I try to launch it so I me mean, they will know because uh, that's how they know my amount of purchase and hours that I've played. So just um, choose on there. Uh, let me put uh, I've always you know, I've used this one for several times. The game catches where I'm playing it. So you choose that. Then uh, they will uh, you did you see two options? One will be contact a uh, game um, uh, support, and the other will be I would like to uh, request a refund. So you choose this if you want to refund. So you will see the next options, the method on how you want to get back your money. So uh, let me let me put a refund to my Steam wallet. So as you can see, they just remind me that I have played this game for for uh, for for four hours uh, of play time. So definitely they won't refund this game to me. That's what I'm trying to explain. So. Uh, uh, so let me just try for just for the purpose of this uh, of this video. So you can just put something else. Let me say, uh, so you can just put any uh, notes that you want to put. Just as print it that uh, the game crashes while you're trying to play it. It uh, it's useless to you and uh, you want refund. So just write a brief note and uh, uh, yeah, you can send the request. So I believe they they will send you an email. They they will send you on the they will send you email on your uh, an email on your registered the email that you register with uh, with Steam. So uh, in the next uh, two or three days, if I'm not mistaken, they uh, will reply you or they will give you back your refund. So hopefully my video is helpful to you. If my video is helpful to you, I I'm not asking, I'm begging. Please uh, make sure you subscribe to my my YouTube channel and like my video because that's how my that's how my channel will grow. I own a very, very small channel. I'm, I'm just looking forward to have, uh, to make it grow. So please, and please, I'm not asking, I'm begging. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, don't forget to like my videos. So thanks for watching and stay blessed. I'll be seeing you soon in the next video. Peace out for now.